Hello and welcome! This time we're playing the tier 10 Japanese destroyer, the Haruguma, and this is from the previous ranked season. Um, when I first finished this match, I already kind of wanted to share it, and uh, here we are. So, it's a match on Mountain Range, I believe is the name of this, and I obviously head towards the beat cap immediately with uh, speed boost and as much speed as possible. To gain as big of an advantage as uh, I can for my team with the uh, points. Unfortunately, two enemy destroyers went to cap A, whereas I'm the only one on our team, so I was still late with the points there. But on the bright side, you know, my team actually went for, or my team's destroyers went for the C cap, but they're getting kind of screwed by the by the enemy Des Moines also going into the sea cap so we're going to be dancing here in the middle a little bit hopefully we'll be able to um, deal some damage to the enemy Shimakaze I kind of don't want to fire my guns because I mean there's a Z52 and a Des Moines and a Worcester and a Shimakaze and another Shimakaze over there I'm afraid that if I uh, do something crazy I might run into a torpedo without being able to avoid it or just take a large amount of damage from the Worcester and uh, apparently our Grozovoy just got torpedoed by the Shimakaze. Nice, well now we're in a 6 versus 7 and the Grozovoy went down to a torpedo so it's not like we did much damage in return. And wait, is, is our Yang almost dead? I think our Yang is almost dead. Yep, 160 something HP. Okay, let's avoid torpedoes. This is gonna be no problem. Although sometimes it can be kind of scary. And there goes our Yuyang. So we're in a 5 versus 7 now. Uh, and it seems our Zhao is taking a lot of damage. So I'm just gonna go and smoke this guy. Or try to put the smoke screen between him and the opponent. Uh, maybe I'll get to use that smoke screen too. Oh wow, we've actually lost 3 ships already. It's a 4 versus 7 now. Wow, this this is an amazing team. I mean, this is all would almost definitely go down as well, right? If I don't smoke him, because the Worcester and the uh, Shima will, and Des Moines will just keep shooting him. Wait, did the smoke not cover him? I think it actually did. Whew. I I was kind of scared there for a moment that smoke didn't reach far enough. That's kind of lucky. Let's drop some torpedoes into that smoke. Okay, at least some good news. The Montana managed to delete the uh, opposing Des Moines. So I'm going to drop the torpedoes here um, with, with reload booster or... I forgot the name of it. Whatever the skill is that refreshes the torpedoes. And then I will head to the A cap because even if the Worcester tries to defend, I will have an, uh, an enormous mountain between me and the Worcester. And the American piercing shells can't overpen it or can't go through this mountain yet. And I'm being radared, but it doesn't matter again because there is going to be an enormous mountain between me and the opposing ship. And oh, I think the radar ran out or the ship went away. Well, I suppose the torpedoes might miss then. But I will at least contest the ACAP and we'll. Okay, I just. Shut down the Shimakaza. Devastating strike. Very nice. And that's another devastating strike. It detonated the Worcester. I mean, sure, why not? It's it's only ranked, right, guys? I mean, RNG never matters, right? That that was a nice double strike. I uh I'm ki quite glad it happened. Now it's a 4 versus 4. I mean, it's it's doable in this case. And oh wow, look, it's a Z52 with no HP. <laughs> Good night, Z52. Thank you very much. Um, So now it's a 3 on 3. It, it was a 4 on 7, but now it's a 3 on 3. Only a few minutes went by. I just got 3 kills in like a minute. Although unfortunately our Z52 just went down again by torpedo which means that we're still behind somehow inexplicably it's just me and the half hp zao left against three enemies okay so what's my plan right now well i if i look at the minimap i can see three ships i can see the grossa first and i can see that there is a shimakaze towards the b cap 
I also know there's a gearing uh, near the C cap at the top and I expect that the Shimakas and Kurfürst will go to the B cap and the gearing will try to sneak around to the A cap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and uh, intercept that gearing because if I try to go south and the gearing is still alive we're probably going to lose because they're gonna cap. By the way notice the torpedoes. The second set of torpedoes is t towards the south which means that the gearing was heading towards the so southern side and that's why I turned towards the south. By the way, those random torpedoes could could have easily finished me off if I had turned before in the past. But luckily I was heading in the right direction and that gave me a ton of information where, where the gearing is heading and uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish her off. By the way, RPF would be really, really nice at this time and I'm sad that the opponent has it. It's the Shimakaza likely in the big cap. Oh, okay, quite first, hello. I'm gonna launch the torpedoes because the torpedoes on the ship are 12 kilometers, so there are no problems with it. And I guess then we're gonna we will go and try to intercept um, the Shimakaza and the B cap, unless I unless I run into the gearing, which I just did. So hello gearing. Oh wow, wow, another another ship with no HP. Hello, I'm gonna use my smoke and I'm just gonna keep firing into the smoke, but I think that's good night. Goodbye, Gearing. It was nice knowing you. Oh wow, and that Shimakaza is low HP too. This is like, this is like the game of low HP ships. I'm just gonna keep firing into the smoke as much as I can. Although I think I'm not gonna hit her. I did hit the uh, Kurfürst with a torpedo. But considering how low HP that Shumakas is, unless something really weird happens, I think we should be winning this match. Okay, let's avoid the torpedoes from the um, gearing. Oh wow. Rest in peace, brother. But I think I'll be okay. I should fall into concealment soon enough, and there it is. And... Um, by the way, notice that the Zhao is still locked in the A cap, which means that the Shimakaze is still inside the A cap. And this gives us a whole bunch of information because it means that we know where the Shimakaze is. I don't have to go blindly hunting for her. Although the unfortunate point is that the two smoke screens kind of help the Kurfürst and she's still a battleship, you know? Oh, wow, the Shimakaze actually came and spotted me. I'm afraid of turning in and trying to chase because if the Shimakaza turns away and runs towards the Kurfürst, I might not be able to spot her for a good 30-40 seconds and I don't think it would be a good idea to sit in the secondary plus main battery range while spotted of a Grossa Kurfürst as a Haruguma. Despite the fact that I might have over 25,000 HP, it's still dangerous. Especially since, you know, Shimakaza probably fires torpedoes too, which she is right now. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically uh, turn around in a circle and then try to torpedo the uh, Kurf... What? This Shimakaze just sailed into the Zao's Hydra range with no HP. Wow, what is this game? And I think that's goodbye, Shimak. Well then, that's a Kraken Unleashed. This is like the luckiest game I have ever had in this game or, or something or something close to that at least. That's just incredible. It's uh, it, it, this kill was basically I can't even really compliment the Zao for this kill because it was really just the Shimakaze that messed up by sailing into the hydro range of the Zao. I mean, it's not like the Zao expected that, right? So, that's just some... That's incredible, really. I mean, they still had a chance before, but now there's basically none. I don't really see it. I mean, it's still possible, of course, that the Kurfürst could delete the Zao and then go on to somehow mess with the Caps in a way that ends up with the Kurfürst winning, but I think it's kind of unlikely. Um... I think uh, torpedoes will get her before, although I don't have torpedo reload anymore, which means that um, I only get to s fire one set of torpedoes. But I mean, I still have 25,000 HP. 
And uh, the Kurfurst just got hit and probably flooded. I, I ask just in case. Because if she, even if she's just flooded and my torpedoes don't hit, I can always set her on fire again. And yes, yeah, she did flood, so if I set her... If I set two fires on her, this Kurfurst is dead. I still have a smoke for disengaging. Wow, the first salvo, of course, starts a fire. The very first salvo. And I'll just keep sailing, because the Kurfurst is gonna be behind an island in like 30 seconds. For, for me anyway, which means that she only gets to fire once and it's very unlikely she will hit me for 24,800 damage. Sure, she hit me for like 9,000, but I started two fires, which means that she is gone. And that's kill number six. Got the high caliber too, which actually does mean that I didn't kill steel that much. It's just that the maximum HP in this match wasn't that high. And one barbecued Grossa Kurfürst coming right up. And that's ship number six that I sunk in this match. Incredible, isn't it? Just incredible. Two devastating strikes, a double strike. Both of them were devastating ones. The Kraken, high caliber, 100,000 uh, damage. 2267 base XP, I compliment everyone on my team. I think the Zao deserves the plays well compliment. The other ones, I think I should have complimented them good manners or something, but I was just feeling so happy I didn't pay much attention to that. And I'm gonna... That Shimakas that sank all of my destroyers with her torpedoes, that guy definitely deserves a compliment. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this match as much as I enjoyed it. This this has been one of the most fun games I have had in this ever, I suppose. And by the way, check this out. This is uh, a Habarovsk. Uh, this is also a ranked battle. She is 25 kilometers away. I am in a Yamato. I mean, how hard can it be to hit the Habarovsk from this far away, right? Oh hey, I hit the Habarovsk from 25 kilometers. It's easy, right? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Woguyen. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.